Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be doing not one but two customized football tumblers for the New York Giants. If you are a Giants fan, I have a special treat for you. This is something that anyone can do and I'm going to do them different. So we're going to do two different styles, similar but completely different for two different people. Now I hear they are losing, <laughs> but I don't care. They're not getting no refunds. This is going to be a great tutorial today. So go ahead, like and subscribe for your girl. Join the family, join the fun. For all behind the scenes, I post twice a week. Now let's jump into the video. Okay, so because I'm gonna do the bottom a different color and I'm leaving the top stainless steel, I'm gonna use this glass just for height purposes. Now you can use a pencil, but because this is stainless steel, I need to be able to see it better. I'm just gonna use a marker and I'm gonna just take this and I don't wanna mark the cup actually. So I'm gonna move it back just a little bit so that way it rests right here. And I'm gonna turn the tumbler So I can get that line perfectly all the way around and you can see that line that's going to get covered up so that's completely fine so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint the bottom I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap so that way this doesn't get messed up but I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one let me get rid of this lid now this tumbler is going to be all one color besides the bottom and a little bit at the top. So this one is a little bit more easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and tape off this bottom section. That was just enough. Okay, so now we got the bottom taped off. I'm just gonna take my marker and I'm just gonna turn it. Now that actually came up higher than I want it to. I wanna see if I can go down a little lower cause that's not really leaving. Actually, that's good. That's gonna be just enough top and bottom. We don't want it to be too overpowering. So that should be good. So I'm just gonna take that to protect that all the way around. And this one, when I fold this over on the inside, this will help so that spray paint doesn't get on the inside as well. Perfect. So now I'm going to fold that over inside. And cover that little piece where I had that little rip at. So I want to make sure I cover that. So now I'm going to go and spray paint both of these tumblers. So now I'm gonna show you how I use the saran wrap to cover the tumbler that I do not want spray paint on. If you do this method, no spray paint will get on the part that you don't want painted. I make sure I apply it all the way around, seal it nice and tight, make sure it's snug, it'll stick automatically. I tuck it in on the inside and I put the extra painter's tape so that way it doesn't move. Man, ain't no paint getting inside this tumbler. Here are the water slide decals that I use. I use white paper. The paper that I use will be linked down below. 
I sealed them three times. As you see the gloss, the sheen on there, I sealed them three times. If you don't know what that process is, you can definitely check out um, my other videos. I show what I use and I actually, I show exactly which spray I use, but I just sprayed them three times, 30 minutes in between. And now I'm about to cut it out using my Cameo 4 Plus. And because I have those registration marks turned on when I printed it out, now I'm going to be able to cut it out precisely using the Cameo machine. So I'm going to do that, and then we can apply them to the tumblers. Yeah, baby, we in business now. So here are the tumblers, they are all done. This one, I went ahead and took off the tape. And I'll go ahead and take the saran wrap off of this one. I only spray paint at the bottom. So I'm just gonna pull that out. This is completely dry now. Let's make sure nothing no paint got on the tumbler underneath okay saran wrap is off now we're going to go ahead and take this off right here now i'm just going to take that And I'm hoping for a perfect line. Gonna peel it back nice and, ooh, I got some spray paint. Look at that, I got some spray paint. It went underneath. Oh, the parts where the tape gathered at. So we are definitely gonna have to fix that. Uh, everywhere the bin was because Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I thought that was gonna be perfect. Normally, okay, so you see where that was? Ooh. I should be able, I don't wanna use paint thinner because the paint thinner will definitely get, take off the bottom. Ooh, what just happened? So I have these little borders that I created using the Oracle 651 to wrap around instead of spray painting it again. And I'll just peel it off, but I just wanna see it's still not I could do that, but it's still not high enough. But I am gonna put it on here for the top and bottom. I'm gonna apply that on here, so I'll do that. But I gotta figure out something for this. So I'm gonna finish this up off camera, and then I'll come back when this part is done. So this time I'm just taking a Q-tip because the paper towel was making it so that the blue was coming up higher than what I wanted it to. So I'm trying to get the blue off, not add to. So I just wanna make sure I'm getting the blue off. Some spots will be okay because it will be covered with the decal but just at this point, I don't know where. Okay, so I have all my decals cut out and I do have some that are gonna be water slides. This is all Oracle 651. I was all out of the white gloss. So the white is matte, but everything else is a gloss finish. So the blue, the red is all gloss. 
and the white is matte but it doesn't it doesn't really matter because once you apply the epoxy over it it's all going to shine so i'm going to lay that down and all i'm going to do is just pull off the backing from here okay so i'm just going to separate that from the backing And I'm just going to apply it right on top. Stretching it. All the way around. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps and add another strip of Oracle 651 and bring it across the bottom. Okay. So now I have the red line at the top. I'm going to wipe this all off and I'm going to start applying the decals. So now I'm going to do the same thing to this so that way I can cover up that line. Okay, so I'm going to apply the first piece of vinyl. And I want to make sure that I can get these to overlap. So I'm actually going to put this one on top of that one first. Instead of putting it on here and then putting it on top of that. Because this is a curved tumbler, I'm going to put it on here first. So whenever you're layering Oracle, you want to layer it off of the object first, if you can. I want to make sure I can get it nice and neat. Because there's no way, with that being a curve, I would have gotten it perfect. So you see that? So now I'm going to press it all together. And now I'm going to pick them both up at the same time. Because you can get air bubbles, anything. So I'm just trying to avoid as much of that as possible. And I'm just going to pick it all up. And then apply it onto here. That's that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Giants. And I'm going to layer this on top of the red. This one is a little bit more smaller and intricate. So I'm going to place this one on top. Ooh, static. Let's see if we can get it to be still. And place it right down on top. Perfect. Pick it all up. I'm just looking to make sure I have it centered. So before I commit to it, I'm just looking to make sure okay boom New York Giant now this one is for the second tumbler. They wanted big blue along the back side. So I'm actually doing the same exact process, layering it off the tumbler first, trying to make sure it's all straight. And this one was a little tricky because of course it's bigger. The vinyl, you know, did get some lumps. It's so tricky doing 
this in vinyl and I really wanted to do it in water slide but my decals for the water slide which I did print out did not cut right so that's why I had to end up doing it in the decal but water slide method for this would have been so much easier so I literally had to just keep smoothing moving it around to try to get it to lay as flat as I could and as straight as I could this Oracle 651 was working my last nerves. Me and Big Blue was about to fight for real because I had to literally keep lifting it up and laying it back down. Every time I thought it had it smoothed out enough, it might look smooth, but there were lumps and bumps. You can't have those bumps or those lumps because if the epoxy gets under it, it will not stick and it will lift up. And that literally happened on one of these tumblers. So I already wasted the water slide paper because it didn't cut right. So I had to make the Oracle 651 one work so I just had to keep playing with it massaging it in place and it did take a minute until finally Big Blue cooperated and I got it to lay flat enough straight to where it was good where I knew it wouldn't raise up underneath the epoxy so just be patient stick with it and you just got to try to do what you can do So after mashing that, I finally got it as straight as I could. Only way for me to get it like really straight was to have that bend over just a tad bit, but I think it looks good. That's the front side, that's the back side. Okay, I'm going to apply my water slide decals. I would have done everything in water slides, but they weren't cutting out right the first one had cut perfectly and then the rest started shifting ah i want to get out all the water try it this one is a small decal real easy and simple so i'm knocking out the easy one football on the angle. I want to make sure it's dry before I turn this over. Only takes a few seconds. Ooh. Got to put it in the same direction. Now before I, I'm going to hold that up. This tumbler is ready for epoxy. Making sure it's nice and centered. And slide it right off the backing. Perfect transfer. These silicone brushes, again, I got them off Amazon. Everything is linked down below. Okay, so my last decal is going to go up here. I just want to make sure I put it in position first, making sure it's good before I go. That's where I'm going to want it, right there. I'm going to put that down in there. I'm going to wet this. I gotta be very careful with the helmet part. Well, with the end part. This is where I messed, I did it already and I had messed up this part. Try to keep this part straight. I'm taking my time. When you have little small pieces, I 
give a curl up and it'll shift. There we go. I'm gonna get out those wrinkles. And that's the back of this one. So I'm just giving this one a final look over. So I have 50 mLs of epoxy mixed up. I'm going to apply it to the tumblers. I love the way these came out. I'm mixing, you wanna stir nice and good, three to five minutes. This is after I sanded. I actually swapped out the vinyl cause it was lifting and peeling for the water slide. This one I shaved all the way down cause it was lifting up. This one I removed completely I just want to make sure that it is completely laid down flat, nice and neat. I went with the only reason why I switched to the vinyl is because it didn't cut out. So I had to cut these out by hand. I cut the, I cut it out by hand. I'm going to stop and put the electrical tape on this one. to rub it this way first. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Once you put the epoxy, all the sanding disappears. Clears just it hardens just like clear glass. See, it's disappearing. Time you put another layer of epoxy on. Now I'm gonna go up again. about the bottom. The other one doesn't have anything on the bottom, but this one does.
Okay, I just want to make sure I get out as many bubbles as possible beforehand. Okay, so I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, both of them. So this is my second coat of epoxy. I did three coats total for each tumbler, letting it turn for a total of eight hours each. And then I let it sit for a total of two to three days before I even shipped it out to the customer. These tumblers did give me a headache, but they were so much fun to create. And I love creating different designs. I didn't want them to be identical, so I did them differently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel where I upload weekly because I have so so many great tutorials that I want to share with you guys and I don't want you to miss out so go ahead and hit the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I post a new video guys as always I will see you guys in the next video peace and blessings go big blue